Hey there, guys and gals. Melodic Symphony here. So, apparently, I'm a big, dumb doodly-donger, and am I not, I'm not clicked in? Nope, I'm not. I apologize. I hope I can't move. There we go. I'm a big dumb-dumb because apparently I forgot something very important to the whole, you know, storyline. So, when Papyrus said that we, him, me, Undyne, and such should hang out, he was being serious. Yeah, um, so I'm going to go do that one. I mean, that sounds fun. Probably not going to totally be killed. Probably. Nah, just oh, okay. What do I have right now? I have, it's been a while. I have, a, I have a stick. Stats. Oh, okay. Okay. It, okay. So I've actually been told a few things. Oh, let's not go down there. So apparently there's some people in the back alley there I need to talk to. Um. Oh, yeah. I surprised him because I knew his name. Um. Left one. So, basically, I have no idea what I'm doing this episode, so it may just be me going out and hanging, like, you know, hanging out with Undyne. I'm not entirely sure. So now we get to take a boat ride with the sketchy riversman. Or the river woman, it doesn't really matter. Apparently they love to ride in their boat. Yes, I would like to join you. Yeah. Um, Snowden? Oh, wait. No, 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 she's in the waterfall because she has the uh, fish house because she's a fish. Try la la. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. What? Is that Sans? The man who speaks in hands. Who uses her hands a lot? I'm really confused. Uh, no, it's not here. Yeah, no. What am I doing? I'm not, what? Stop it. I need to not be as like, dumb as this is. Okay. I apologize. I may cut this out, or, you, or I'll just leave it in, and you guys get to listen to me stumble over my own words for like a minute and a half. <sighs> I like this little boat. It's kind of like... It's just a fun little thing you add in. <laughs> and I like little fun things. Oh, tra-la-la, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. He just gives you secrets that... Like, I don't know. His secrets are kind of neat. I like them. Come again sometime. Tra -la -la. No. You're creepy. It was this one, correct? Nope. this music should I be concerned about this music oh the human arrives are you ready to hang out with Undyne I have a plan to make you two great friends will you hang out yes okay stand behind me Psst. make sure to give her this she loves these is that a bone Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Uh, hi, I don't think we've... <clears throat> Awkward stares all around. Why don't you two come in? <laughs> yeah, Papyrus? <laughs> he seemed a little excited about that. Oh, she has a piano. Oh, that's the music. Oh, okay. I, I, makes it all sense now. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. He didn't even give the poem to me. I fucking love the virus. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> she has a drawer of them. 
So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Um, <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? Oh, how delightful. I accept. Her face is kind of terrifying right now. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Uh, Apopars. Ah, dang. What a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Then he ran away. Oh, jeez. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, jeez. Can I go inspect the door? The I mean, the window? I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Oh, my God. He does this more than probably <laughs> once. Jeez. One time, Alphys' uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Oh, it reminds me of a uh, um, uh, uh, hedonism bot from Futurama. Can I, can I examine this the other uh, Or not. Yeah, there we go. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Ooh, she's talking about office. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer? Yeah. The dog's there. And just... <laughs> the dog winked at me. Hey, hey, Undyne. Hey there. How you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> the eye just peeking over the shoulder is kind of creepy. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing, but, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, spears, nunchucks. So just the normal stuff. Uh, I hate cold food, so Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Okay, the sword. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their sizes. Right? You know, I don't think that's true, but I like where you're going. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah. It doesn't look like it's, you know, ten times your size. Not at all. Okay. I think that's about everything. Yeah, sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Yay. All set. What would you like? Oh, I just gotta go. Or not. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? Uh, you can use a spear. 
Oh, oh my, wait. I can select Undyne? Are, are you hitting on me? <laughs> I, I promise. Sugar goes in tea? It's for tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are, are there ice cream songs to prelude the destruction? Is that it? <laughs> yes. What? Really? That rule! I can't even take this seriously. It's great. Can I pick the sword? Sword. A co Wait, what does it say for Undyne? The sword's an acquired taste. Oh, it doesn't say anything. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. And then she looked nervous. I can eat the fridge. The, the fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. <laughs> Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate. Green. That's a blue cylinder. Sickly yellow liquid is a soda. You know, I... I'm gonna go with the blatantly obvious choice. Tea, huh? They're coming right up. Yeah? Yeah? It'll take a moment for the water to boil. I just imagine Undyne as being the person who tries really hard to make friends even though she's so aggressive and mean it's hard for her okay it's all done also i don't know what voice to give her because every youtuber i've listened to has had a different perspective on how they see undyne and the only youtubers i see who pull off a good undyne voice are female youtubers so whatever i'm just gonna give her like some sort of tomboyish voice like a girl who's pretending to sound like a guy yeah i'm just gonna do that because it's easier for me <laughs> my mic sensitivity is turned up so I can hear myself like really loudly and it sounds like a pop rocks in my mouth I apologize here we are Do I, I just still have the spear can I put it down careful it's hot can okay, okay it's not that hot just drink it already you take a sip of the tea it's burning but other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Can, can I set down the spear now? Uh, hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies, uh, sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Y you know, that may have carried over to your adulthood. Just maybe. Aw, the music's adorable, so I can't get mad at her. Once, I, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want... Do you know... Yeah, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and then from, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad but he was beaming i had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked anyway long story short he kept training me and now i'm head of the royal guard so i'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight like um papyrus but um to be honest i don't know if I can never let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. 
I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Yeah? Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh. Okay, fuck all those things. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever ima- Oh my god. Gonna not stutter. We'll be- We'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Are you afraid? We're gonna be best of friends. Hey, uh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Oh. Uh, alrighty then. Let's start with the sauce. Where, where did those come from? Do you have like a, an actual fridge on your ceiling? Oh, okay, whatever. Envision these vegetables at your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. <laughs> you punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over tomato. Yeah, yeah! Okay, our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. <laughs> this music's so epic for something so simple. Oh god. Okay, I took a breather. Now it's my turn! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Um, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later, but for now... We had the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best, but I can just buy store brand. They're at... <laughs> they're the cheapest. <laughs> yeah! Um, just put them in the pot. How you put them in? Fiercely! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. There's no water in it. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! What? Oh, 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 oh. Stir harder! 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 Oh god. Ugh, let me do it. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Oh. 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 Hotter. No, please. Oh god. Hotter, darn it! Hotter! No, undone, this isn't safe. Wait, that's too... Oh. Well, we just took a portal to hell. Ah. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Um. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship? Bracelets? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Again? No. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Nyah! Undyne's letting you make the first attack. 
check. This time, don't hold anything back. Show me what you've got. Fake attack? You pretend to swing at Undyne with all of your might. Oh. That piddly damage. What? That that's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid Saturn. Saccharin? I don't know. I actually need to look that word up. I apologize. I hated your stupid Saccharin shtick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, that's sad. Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, we'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Pyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Pyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Aw. House is so sad. What? 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 It's a living. I, I read that before, but it's adorable. I like it. It looks sad. It sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of adorable. Um... I think that's all I needed to do for this episode. So, yeah, heck yeah. Um, from what I was told, um, I'm going to stop by and talk to apparently someone named Braddy and someone named Caddy. So that's going to be a fun time where I'm wanting to rip my own brains out. But uh, other than that, yeah, this has been a great episode, guys. Let me face the camera. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.